All right, I'm back with another product here. This one I happen to like a lot. These are voltmeters, obviously. And here, this is a bar mount. So currently I'm rebuilding two Chai Compacts to not have the voltmeters in the top. I'm actually gonna redo the whole top casing, redo the wires and everything. So in doing so, I came to the need of being able to mount the voltmeter, being one of these, onto a place that I can see it. Now instead of putting it in the battery lid like a lot of people do, I figured, hey, I'll put it in like a heads-up display type deal. So I came up with this design. Super simple. As you can see, it's a clamp-on. It is designed to fit in between direct mount uh, handlebars. So if you take your handlebars, like so, and you'll have your direct mount clamps like so. This goes right in between them. Um, I have the set off of eBay or uh, Amazon. I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's a very common set. I believe the total width of this is just under a half inch. So it should fit on almost all of them. Uh, it's dimensioned for 31.8 millimeter. That way it fits standard surround bars. Uh, as you can see, I have three different meters here. The reason for that, A, I want to see if I like the different styles. B, to see if they would all fit the same way, and they do not. This is going to be the one that I'm going to go with. I was going to go with this one mainly because I'm a big fan of the color white. However, there is a bit of a caveat. There's also this one over here. Um, some of these, especially this one for instance, all three of these are basically made by the same company and they have the same dimension listed on their rear dimension between here and here and there. They have the same dimension, all three of them do, but they don't fit the same to an extent. I mean, they more or less are the same size. So the Supnova is the one that I'm going to go with, and here's the reason for that. This one, you cannot set a custom voltage. And I'll explain this in a second. This one you cannot set a custom voltage. That one you can. So when you turn these on, there's a setup mode. There's a, a lead acid, lithium, and uh, iron phosphate. So there's three different battery types that you can set them for. And these ones will work from like 12 volt up to I think 72 or something like that. <clears throat> now in doing so, when you set these up, you would set it as a, let's say, 16 series string for lithium. It is not accurate. However, these ones do not have the function that this one does. This one, you can actually set what you want your low voltage 0% to read and what your high voltage 100% fully charged to read. So for instance, I set this one for 67.2 volts for 100% charged. And I set 0% as the more or less minimum voltage that uh, Chai recommends, but with a little bit of room for safety. So on this one, I actually set it at 48 volts. That way I know when, hey, you know, you've got a little bit left, technically speaking, probably around five to eight percent, but you can actually set where you want that range to be. And also shows uh, voltage, you can do voltage, percentage, and a little bar display. <clears throat> so, like I said, it's super simple. All you gotta do is take this, take your screws out. So if you buy one of these, obviously it's not gonna have the screws in it, but once the screws are out, put it on the bar where you want it, put the top cap on, and tighten it down until the gap is even on both sides. That way you have equal clamping force. Now the nice thing about this is, it's symmetrical, so it does not matter which side you put it on, it's the same thing. You can actually see there's a little hole right here, that way you can tuck your wires under if you need to. Uh, for instance, my meter would go in this direction, which would have the wire on this side. So all you have to do is tuck the wire through the hole, pull it through. Now as you can see, I modified mine a little bit. I had to shave this little lip off of here so that it would fit nice and smooth. And then you just push it in. Now this one's not super tight and that's just fine. You want it a little bit loose versus tight. All you need to do is you can put some painter's tape on this underside 
the uh, the lip on the outside there, and you can actually make this slide into whatever tension you want. That'll make it easier to get out later too. So you can actually make it so that it slides in with just enough. I mean, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. But it's as simple as that, and then it holds it. It's nice and small and compact. Best thing I got for you here is like a can of Mountain Dew. You can see it's very small. Hey, look at that. Well, the same width as a can. Fits right in the middle of the bar. Your display is really nice. So that's that. Now these aren't super cheap. These are high quality MJF. Basically like a uh, injection molded style quality. So they are about 50 bucks for one of them shipped. The meters are on Amazon. I think they're like 12 bucks. I definitely recommend the Supnova. Uh, but if you have any questions, shoot me a message, comment on the video, and uh, I'll definitely have these on Facebook as well so that other people can see them.